just a few days away from the spookiest night of the year. And Julia, we know this is going to be a very different and unique Halloween experience, but it might also be a good time to introduce some new thinking and traditions that can lead to less waste and more mindfulness. I'm going to say it right now. Halloween is one of the most wasteful holidays of the year. It is crazy. Do you know that the number one littered item is officially plastic food wrapping? Mm. Oh yeah, it has taken over the cigarette butt. <laughs> <laughs> but on an international coastal cleanup, they collected over 4.7 million pieces of food wrappers. That is brutal. And it is sort of insane to think that one holiday can cause so much waste. But then this year is a bit of an anomaly because there aren't really many options when it comes to handing out unwrapped candy. So what are you supposed to do? I know, Tracy. It's a very difficult year. And you know what? At the end of the day, health and safety is our number one priority. We have to take care of ourselves so we can take care of the planet. But what I can say is maybe there's an opportunity to hand out what I like to call my zero waste candy bundles. So <laughs> these are what I made with the kids. They're reusable mason jars. We filled it with bulk candy, so less wrapping, put in the eyes. We just had a great time. Now, obviously, you're not going to hand these out to kids that you don't know, but there are friends in my kids' sort of social bubble that they're already friends with that we will be giving these out to. If you decide to go with pre-packaged candy wrappers to hand out, totally get it. This is the year that we have to think about that. But maybe we can think about choosing candies that are a little bit better for the planet, like organic candies, or even candies that are vegan. These ones I love, Trace, they are from Yum Earth, a great little company. I got them at well.ca, but wait for it. The packaging is made in a plant that runs 100% on wind-generated energy. Mm. Crazy, right? So there are things that you can do that can sort of like lower the carbon footprint, but still keep us all safe. Um, Trace, I gotta talk about this. This is a big one for me. I wanna talk about how we can have a more mindful Halloween. You know what I mean? Realizing that there are more people in this world than just us. Tracy, tell me you remember going out trick-or-treating with your UNICEF box yes. attached to you. <laughs> Absolutely. And because I'm obsessed with, uh, like, I just like to tally things and make more and more and more. I was obsessed with how many pennies I could collect in that UNICEF box. I wish I was from, coming from an altruistic place, but really I just wanted to beat all my friends. So it was really important. But yes, I remember that. You know what? It was such a great visual reminder that there was more going on than just you that night. And that is what I want to teach my kids this year. And Tracy, if I have to do it through a video game, I will do it through a video <laughs> game. I don't know if your kids play Animal Crossing, but my guys are absolutely obsessed with it. And it's so much fun, but they, you know, you live in this little world and they jump from islands and all this great stuff. But the currency that you trade in the game are turnips. And these turnips rot if you don't use them. Okay, yeah, that's not good. That's like food waste. Mm -hmm. But over Halloween, there's this amazing initiative where you can take your turnips, take them over to Hellman's Island, and Hellman's will donate a meal in real life to Second Harvest. Mm -hmm. So you've got this great lesson about food waste, and your kids are learning about giving back at the same time. It's killer, and it's so much fun to play. Just saying. We have got to talk about the big kahuna, the pumpkin, and the amount of pumpkin waste. And I've got some great, clever ideas to use it up. Okay, Tracy, do you know that Canadians will purchase 10 million pumpkins? And the majority of those are for decoration and then just get thrown out. Okay, so I have heard definitely that um, if you do get the pumpkins, maybe don't paint the pumpkins unless it is a non-toxic paint, and make sure you eat the pumpkin and roast the seeds so that they're not just wasteful. And the, the squirrels in my neighborhood have already started buffeting on ours, so at least we know it's going somewhere good. <laughs> See, that's amazing. That's it. But the, you hit the nail on the head. Eat your pumpkin. 
Simple as that. So I've got some great little things that we can do. The number one thing you're going to do is when you're finished with your jack-o'-lantern, you're going to peel them, then you're going to chop them up, and then you're going to boil the pieces. Once it's boiled, it will be hot, and then you blend it. Then you get pumpkin puree. Yeah, I know this looks like orange juice, but it's not. I tricked my husband this morning. <laughs> Sorry about that. Anyways, this is pumpkin puree. So I'm going to show you a great little recipe that we've done, which is actually a body scrub. So you're going to take half a cup of brown sugar, okay, and then you're going to mix that with half a cup of your puree and mix that together. You'll add a little bit of coconut oil. It's about a tablespoon of coconut oil. And you're just gonna start mixing this up. Put in, of course, some cinnamon, yummy, and some nutmeg. Okay, I know it sounds like I'm making a cake, but it's actually a body scrub, and it's so great. So what you do, Trace, mix it all up, then you're gonna just sort of lather it up on your arms and through your body, and then you jump into the shower, rinse it off. The other thing we could do is a martini. How about a pumpkin pie martini? Nothing says Halloween like that. So what you need for this, Trace, is just a shot of vodka, Everyone loves a shot of vodka. You can use vanilla vodka if you've got it. Then you'll do a little bit of Bailey's, mix that in as well, and a little bit of the pumpkin puree. I would do probably about half a shot of that, or whatever you like. If you love it, you can add more. Then we'll add a bit of cinnamon again, just a pinch, and a pinch of that nutmeg. And then mix it up in your martini shaker. Oh yeah. And then you're just gonna pour it over ice. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Right? How fun is... Oh my god. So good. <laughs> so fun. Handing out candy, drinking one of these. Come on. That is the way to celebrate. Oh my goodness. And I love how creative you're being and not just stinky, sticking to the traditional pumpkin.